This is Compton, California. One of the most notorious cities in America and home to two of the most notorious rival gangs, the Crips and the Piru Bloods. This is Spankin' News, two opposing gang members who saw past the blue and red and came together to change the game entirely. What is a power and a crip doing with each other in the first place? And how are they making all this great food? We're changing the narrative about gangbangers. We're doing something that gang members won't do, which is going legit. And showing everybody that it's cool to go legit. We lost a lot of friends to jail and the streets. Somebody has to put an end to it. in the heart of Compton right now. That's where you at right now, in the heart of Compton, right now. You hear me? We get so much negative energy about Compton, and these guys are bringing so much positive energy. They bring a lot of shit together, you feel me? It's a crib and a blood that come together and they sell food because everybody want to eat. We can't rap. We don't play sports. We can't get a 9 to 5 at most places because of who we are. How can we? live the lifestyle and take care of our kids in a positive way. But we just hustling, we hustling food. My name is Malachi Spanky Hannes Jenkins. And I'm Roberto Bad News Smith. And it's Trap Kitchen. We Trap Kitchen. Um, Trap Kitchen is a social media underground restaurant which turned into a brand and a fleet of food trucks, brick and mortar, cookbook, community activists, gang members. <laughs> My brother was already selling clothes and merchandise on Instagram, and I had the following. I was throwing parties and cooking and displaying my food on Instagram. My followers would ask, like, when can we taste some of this food? We seen you go to culinary school. We just wanted to make a transition in our life, so my bro would say, like, how about we start selling some of that food? And I'm like, hmm, that makes sense. People start catching on, start ordering food, and it just caught fire. We used to sit up every day in the kitchen after we sell out of food, plotting like, man, we're gonna do this, we're gonna cook for this person, we're gonna be big, and we just like, we spoke it into existence. That shit's crazy. One time, we had two of the most predominant hoods in Compton in the backyard shooting dice with each other. That shit just blew my mind because anywhere else, it would've, it would've went down, you know what I'm saying? But both hoods respected my house, you know what I'm saying? We leave that shit on Wilmington. Don't, when you come here, everybody cool. We done started a trend. Like, you know, you catch Bloods and Crips hanging out throughout the city, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Through cooking and their love of food, Spank and News broke the chain. They came back to their community, changed minds, and are leading by example every single day. A lot of times they say, oh, they're former game breakers, and we correct them every time. Like, no, we're still fully active in our neighborhoods. Don't get it twisted. But just now, my focus is on building this company and staying legit. Making news, man. Baby and Slim. Yin and yang, you know what I'm saying? Night and day. As you can see, Spank likes to talk a lot. News is more of the background, smooth guy, but they both love to eat. <laughs> there are two one of a kind, you know what I'm saying? Especially from being different sides of the tracks. You know, the red and the blue came together, and what they did was history. Really, we just wing it. We want, this shit has all been a wing, you know what I mean? Like. But the food brings people together because, like, everybody needs the food. But I think it's really their story that makes people believe. You know, they became successful, you know, so and that's a true testament of coming out the ghetto. For me and for everybody else, like, we love that and we appreciate it. It's just the, the vision, you know what I'm saying? And kids being able to see, like, from the inner city, being able to see someone that looks like them doing almost the impossible. Man, the brand is bigger than me and him, you know what I'm saying? We just work for the company now. It's, Trap Kitchen is an entity in itself. It's an umbrella. You know, we giving our friends a way to own something. 
be black and own something. That's my main thing. Like, you know, it's not so much, oh, y'all work for me. No, everybody's a boss. Just by watching you doing what you're doing, that could be an inspiration for them. Now we're giving people ways to make money and be stable. And we see people do it all over the place. You know, them real brothers right there, they, they bring us all together. And we all one. And we just look at it like we ain't got to go there no more. We started with them. We're still plotting and hoping and dreaming and wishing. We can plot on the big checks now. We want big millions. And dreams about doing things in our city. So now I'm trying to spread this around the world. Coming in, in. yeah. Shows what's possible when you got a good idea, you got drive, when you got conviction. That's Trap Kitchen. I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah.